Hey everybody, uh, Danny, Tamika, uh, we're here with Kayfabe Jiu Jitsu coming to you this week from an undisclosed location somewhere in central Minnesota. So, I don't know where you guys are coming in from, but in Minnesota we, uh, we just got our stay home orders, got our shelter in place uh, starting this week, so we're going to hunker down here, uh, make do, but we're going to try our best to keep some, some jiu-jitsu content coming out to you guys. I know it's been a long time since we've gotten to train and that really sucks, but uh, stay active however you can. You want to get some sheet mats like we got right here, put them up in your lovely sitting room. Hopefully you've got a partner at home or you've got uh, somebody nearby that you can somehow bribe or threaten into being your training partner for the for the day and you can give some of this stuff a shot all right we hope to see everybody really really soon soon as we safely can stay active stay positive let's get through this all right what do you have uh today for self-defense um so today we're going to give you um a self-defense variation on a collar choke um, so instead of doing the choke with the gi like we normally would do, we're just going to use a t-shirt or whatever the person happens to be wearing at the time. Sounds awesome. <laughs> that must be why she had me wear the t-shirt. Yeah. I was very curious. All right. Let's get into it. All right. Where are we starting from? Guard. Guard. So we're going to be in guard. The first thing I want to do is break down his posture, that way he can't be striking me or any of that good stuff. So like we've done before, I'm going to use my legs, I'm going to pull him forward, I'm going to grab around his head with one arm and secure myself to him. So holding on tight with this arm, I have this hand free, I'm going to reach down and just pull up on his t-shirt till it's nice and high. And I can kind of bunch it up into a nice fistful here, making sure I'm grabbing through the collar part. Here, once I've got that bunched up, I can take my arm from around his head, put it in front, palm up, grab that bunch that I just made, make sure I have it nice and tight. Then we're gonna change our angle here. We flipped it around. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we gathered up the t-shirt into a nice bunch Again, I've got my palm up on this side. I've got this nice and tight. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna offline here. And then this is gonna look a lot like your standard D choke, palm up, palm down. Here. I'm gonna put my wrist up next to his neck, flick it over as far as I can get it, and grab that same bunch that I just made. To finish, I'm gonna square back up and turn both my wrists on my chest. Oh, I don't like that at all. <laughs> so we're finishing just like we normally would. Oh, that is genuinely horrible. <laughs> yeah, it gets pretty tight. Um, so again, you can use, if they're wearing the t-shirt like this. Um, oh, you just pulled my t-shirt up around my <laughs> That's left. Yeah, um, or if they're wearing a sweater or something like that, something thicker, you don't necessarily need to bunch it up as much. You just want to create an opening and do your palm up that way just depends on what they're wearing. You know, I bet I have a sweater. You want to show that? You want to show that? Sure. Okay, well let's, uh, I'm going to throw a sweater on, come back and show you how maybe do that with a sweater. Yeah. So I'm wearing my tactical hoodie. All right, first off, break the posture. Now this time, and it's hard to see, so I'm just going to reach up and kind of create a little space to put my, um, my other hand in here. So just like you would do with the gi, nice and deep, pull it down, offline, wrist up, we're going to flip this over, grab whatever material I can get a hold of, center back up, and finish. Oh, that is also genuinely horrible. Yeah. T-shirt, sweatshirt, tank top, <laughs> maybe, maybe not a tank maybe top. Maybe not a tank top. Uh, if, you, if it's beach season and they're not wearing a shirt at all, that might be a problem. We might need to go to the, we'd have to use uh, some, sort of. some sort of wizardry, nogi wizardry to do that. Tune in, maybe we'll do some nogi wizardry. <laughs> Choke them with your mind. Um, so thanks for watching. That was just a fun little variation, again, on a standard gi choke, just using, using a t-shirt, sweatshirt, whatever they're wearing. 
Um, tuxedo top? <laughs> Probably work with a tuxedo top. Yeah. Or a tie. You know what? You try this out using various... Find the weirdest things you can choke <laughs> each other with and put them in the... Send us the videos. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'll, put, to see. I'll link, uh, I'll link uh, my Twitter uh, and our Facebook group yeah. in the description below. If you can choke each other with things that are not a gi in this manner, I would mm. love to see that. Mm. All right? Cool. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Have fun. See everybody as soon as we hopefully can. Stay safe. Stay well. Keep training. <laughs>